There is a lot riding on today's special election for public advocates. A lot of money, at least. Taxpayers shelling out some $15 million to open the polls today. A lot of candidates, too. 17 in all, including four sitting council members, a former council speaker, four members of the state assembly, and eight other lawyers, community activists, and educators. So you would imagine there would be a lot of interest in voting today, too, right? Do you know what the public advocate in New York does? Nope, I do not know. No. Not really. I would assume that they advocate for the public. Do you know who's running for public advocate right now? I do not. No. No idea. Nope. Still, the candidates are looking to replace newly elected state attorney general Letitia James. Whoever does win this costly election for a position without defined responsibilities and with a $3.5 million budget does need to run again if they want to serve longer than a year at least. That is because in September there will be a primary and in November a general election to fill the same position again. Meanwhile, frontrunner Jumani Williams, who was endorsed by the New York Times, is also facing some scrutiny. After the Daily News reported in 2009, Williams was arrested during an argument with his girlfriend, reporting some items were thrown during the fight. That record hadn't been public because the charges were eventually dropped.